Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about one vulnerability that is known as cross-site scripting. So this is the most common vulnerability that we face in web development. So I'm going to discuss about that issue as well as I'm going to provide solution uh, by which we can avoid this kind of error. So let me explain my code first. So here I have one label, one input field, uh, one submit button and whatever I'm going to enter in this, this will get printed as it is, right? So for that on the left hand side, I have written code. This is label, this is input, this is button and there is one empty, empty division with ID show. And when I'm clicking on submit button, I'm calling one function submit input, uh, which is storing the instance of input. Then it is storing this division and then to this division whatever value i am uh, entering it's getting assigned okay so that whatever we are writing over here it's getting visible on the uh, browser so the main purpose why attacker do this is they can introduce any malicious script uh, in our uh, web application and they can uh, perform a series of tasks and exploit our application altogether okay so here i am uh, pasting this script so now ideally this should be treated as text okay but since uh, we are not performing any action or we are not uh, sanitizing this html it will get treated as html so if you see now if i click on submit this script is executed as it is and what it says on mouse over it is alerting some stuff and this script can be anything okay so if I hover over it, now you can see it's getting executed. So how to avoid this kind of error? So for this, I've created one function. So I'm going to uncomment this function. So essentially what it is doing is, so whatever input value I'm passing to this function, it is first checking the opening tag and then it is replacing it with ampersand LT semicolon and it is also checking for closing tag and it is rep replacing that closing tag with ampersand gt semicolon and what this g means is so in a text wherever we have opening or closing tag replace it with ampersand lt semicolon and ampersand gt semicolon respectively so now this is the vulnerability we have found so how to fix this so we can just call this function escape html and to that we can pass this value as argument so now if i enter the same script again and if i click on submit so now the script is visible but it is not executing okay so whatever user is in uh, inputting that is getting shown on the browser but that script is not getting executed so in this way we can sanitize this text whatever we are entering okay so keep in mind while developing any web application you should be fixing this issue at the time of development only so that we can overcome this kind of scenarios which can exploit our application thank you for watching this video and for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you